Like, if you don't have a girlfriend right now, if you don't have a boyfriend right now, don't worry about it. Seriously, ignore that that even exists right now, and you should be married to the fucking game. <laughs>[laughs] it was just it was just a good fucking time um so one of the key things i learned is that everyone is on a different timeline right like you see sneeko you see andrew tate you see these i I personally i compare myself to andrew tate and sneeko because like i preach practically the same shit that they preach but they've been doing it for a lot longer than me and that's something that i need to keep reminding myself is that like bro they've been doing this for way longer than you have they have endless content they're going out in the streets and filming content so i'm going to start doing that as well um but what, what this taught me is that, like, everyone is on their own timeline. And to really internalize that, like, your success is not measured by what other people are doing. Just because other people are succeeding at a faster rate than you are, quote-unquote, does not mean that you aren't doing enough, right? Like, it's, it's good to have this pressure on yourself. This, that's how I got to where I got so quickly is because I had this really hard pressure on myself where it's like, I have no fucking time to waste. I need to wake up every day and get after it. But I wasn't looking at what other people were doing because I don't care. Right, like when I start scrolling and I see Sneeko and I see Andrew Tate on my for you page every two videos, it's like fuck, man. Like, how do they even get to this point? And like, I'm sure a lot of you guys experience the same thing where you see people blow up and you're like, why have I not blown up? It's because you're giving them your energy, bro. When you put all of your energy into yourself and you stop caring what other people's timeline looks like, and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna focus all in on my timeline. I don't care what they're doing. I'm just gonna focus on what I'm doing. And if you like, the the reason why people scroll mindlessly. And compare themselves to other people is because they don't know exactly what they should be doing, right? Like they don't know the one thing that they want to focus on. So people ask me all the time about good ideas. What are good business ideas? It doesn't fucking matter what your business idea is. Just start one and start documenting your journey of starting one. Because then if you say you do drop shipping or Amazon and you start from zero, you start with nothing and you, you start posting. All right, guys, here's my first day doing my Amazon account. I just spent a couple of days learning about this. And then you keep people updated with how that store is going. And then they see it doing well, and then they'll they'll fucking they'll pay you, they'll pay you to teach them how you did it, right? Like it's just documenting things. Like you don't need to be a content creator. You don't need to be the most creative person ever. Document your story. Document your life. Like me personally, I've documented pretty much everything in the past two years because I went from Ohio to here, all this crazy shit. And I'll be honest with you guys. Like the the more money I make, the more I realize like don't spend it on stupid shit. Like, do not spend your money on stupid shit because money is hard to come across. The value of everything is increasing right now. Inflation is going through the fucking roof. Interest rate just went up, like, I think almost a percent. Or I don't even know. It's it's 5%. Interest rate is 5% now, which used to be like three and a half, three or something. Um, So everything is just getting more expensive. Loans are getting more expensive. So stop buying stupid shit. I wish I didn't buy stupid shit. Like, I have two cars right now, this crib. But I'm going to stay in this house until I make a million dollars, and I'm hoping that's by, like, the end of next year so that I can go buy a property. I went home, and I was talking to my mom about buying a property there with her. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'll have my first property, uh, rental property anyway. So basically what I'm saying is stop mindlessly scrolling, please, unless you're going to watch my videos. (laughs) 
uh, and a bunch of other, like just be super intentional about who you follow and maybe only go through your following list. Stop looking at the For You page because it's just fucking stupid. What have you learned from the For You page? Probably not that much, but I'm not saying completely avoid it, but I'm insanely intentional. When I was home, I spent 30, 30 minutes a day on my phone, 30 minutes a day on my phone. And I'm, this is also kind of just like an update to you guys, but also does not compare yourself is the point of this video. Um, I'm, I'm working on getting a lot of editors so that my, YouTube, this is probably going to be one of my last YouTube videos that has no editing on it. And like the, the, the rest are going to be really well edited. Um, uh, and just beautiful is what I'm going for. I got a whole new fucking setup. Uh, it's, it's a fucking crispy setup. I'll make a, I'll make a video of it sometime this week. Um, uh, but basically guys, all I'm saying right now is don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. And focus on your immediate life and becoming the best version of yourself. And that's all that matters. Like, if you don't have a girlfriend right now, if you don't have a boyfriend right now, don't worry about it. Seriously, ignore that that even exists right now. And you should be married to the fucking game right now. That's the only thing that you should be concerned about is married to the fucking game. That's it. It's fucking it. And then a relationship will make itself apparent when the time is right. But until then, get your money up. Get cash flow coming in. Build a personal brand. All these fucking things that you can build rather than scrolling mindlessly or going out partying and drinking, right? Like, have fun, but make sure you deserve your fun. And that's the most important thing. Um, so, yeah, go. I'm going to put my Twitch, Twitch in the bio. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch a lot this week. I'm trying to do it every night. Uh, I've, had like, I've had, like, a consistent 40 viewers, like, throughout the whole thing because I talk about woke shit, important shit. Um, but, yeah, guys, stop comparing yourself. It's not going to get you anywhere. Focus on yourself. Focus on your immediate life because we all have our own blessings and we need to count them. And the grass is not greener on the other side. It's greener where you water it. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here on this ride with me. It means so much to me. You guys have no fucking idea. Because um, I'm still growing. I'm still on the come up. And I'm super happy to just to be in a position where people listen to me. Even if it's 5, 10, 15, 2,000 people. I don't care. I will never stop spreading the truth and just awareness and helping other people become high value, more intelligent, more successful. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And I will see you in the next one.